While Brussels Grand Place may be one of the most beautiful squares in the world, every September in the shadow of the magnificent 17th century buildings and guild halls lining Brussels Grand Place, both brewers and drinkers come together to celebrate Belgian Beer Weekend, an annual event that serves as a capstone to the warm, waning days of summer, just before autumn and its crisp, cool days usher in the long, cold months of winter. Under the watchful eyes of St. Boniface perched high atop the Guild Hall of the Tailors, along with a graceful trumpeter above the Baker's Guild, and a pair of riders that festoon the horn, a building that served sailors as their guild, a few thousand residents and tourists join in the festivities to hail, but mostly drink, a beverage older than the pyramids, whose production and distribution can be found in the ancient code of Hammurabi. In the shadow of Brussels' ancient city hall, the frozen stone nobles, saints, and allegorical figures probably wish they could climb down and join in the fun. But while they can't, many do. Costumed Belgians portraying soldiers from a long-ago past guard the entrance of the Brewer's Museum that occupy the arched basements of the historic building. Roving groups of jazz musicians regale the crowd, while restaurants like the well-known Swan, along with the many cafes and bustling outdoor terraces that occupy the Grand Place, enter into the festivities, as Belgians and tourists alike partake in the bounty of a city that loves to eat and drink. But the real enjoyment of the festivities comes from wading into the masses of beer lovers crowded into the historic square armed with nothing more than your thirst. With an amazing selection of over 400 Belgian beers to choose from, hundreds queue up to purchase the bottle caps and yellow tokens that serve as payment for a glass of the Belgian brewer's craft. Dried hops decorate the barriers used to cordon off the drinking area, a reminder of one of the humble but key ingredients used in beer production. Tents crowd the center of the Grand Place, also known as the Grotemat to the Flemish and brewers offer their unique brews to tempt eager drinkers. Each beer is served in its own special glass, and payment is made using special bottle caps that cost one euro each. The 17th century meets the 21st, as modern denizens of the city fill the space known as one of the most beautiful squares in Europe to celebrate the cultural heritage and beverage of their ancestors. After three days, the festivities are over. But the great Belgian beer served up at the festival are always available from the bars, pubs, restaurants, and shops of the city. So even when the parties ended, both city residents and visitors alike know that they can always get a drink of their favorite brew. Until the next September, when they can come together and do it all over again. <laughs>